Everybody up! We're on the beach and we saw the mats and it's like, oh wow, this is really happening. I'm really on Survivor. All right guys, let's hit in. Well, I was in the Marine Corps, uh, spent two deployments, went to Iraq twice. I think I'm gonna win just because of my background. I, I think I've been trained for something like this. Welcome to Survivor. Before we get started, we've got two more players joining us. Right here. Russell. I don't even know whose team he's gonna be on, but I'm gonna stare down Russell. And I know when I stare down Russell, he'll know, oh, she's got a little, little evil inside of her. Because if I'm not the one person he picks to keep to the end, then no matter what, I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna be out. I think everybody here is familiar with Boston Rob and Russell. Boston Rob has proven his ability to help a tribe not only in challenges, but in camp life. He has played three times. He's made it to the final once, he has never won. Russell, in back-to-back -back seasons, Russell masterminded two of the strongest alliances in Survivor history. Russell has played twice, he's been to the end twice, he has never won. Together, these two offer 156 days of survivor experience. That is worth a ton out here. They're sizing us up like we're prey. Yeah. <laughs> what's your name? Francesca. Francesca, what's your reaction? You said these guys were sizing you up as prey. Yeah, I mean, they're troublemakers. They're two of the most famous troublemakers in survivor history, so, I mean, I don't think they're here just to help us out. <laughs> so, the question now is, who's going to which tribe? We're going to do it old school, guys. We're going to draw for buffs. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. They are covered, <laughs> so we're not giving anything away. Rob, take your pick. Russell, this is for you. All right, let's reveal. You join Omatepe. Take a spot. <laughs> Russell Hans, you join Zapterra. Come on, Russell, let's go, buddy. Come on, we welcome you. Take a spot. All right, there is one more twist. When you are voted out at Tribal Council, you will not go home. What? Instead, you will leave Tribal Council and you will be sent to Redemption Island where you will live alone. You will have the same basic supplies that your tribe mates had back at camp, but it will be up to you to keep the shelter going. It'll be up to you to tend to fire. It'll be up to you to feed yourself. It will not be easy. When the next person joins you on Redemption Island, the two of you will square off in a duel. What? The winner stays. The loser is out of the game for good. At a certain point in the game, the remaining person on Redemption Island will be allowed to re-enter the game and continue their pursuit of the title of sole survivor and the million dollar prize. Sweet. Redemption Island does not scare me one bit. It's a vacation. Yeah. Put me on that island and see what happens. Because I'm gonna win the challenge, I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna take some heads off. You guys ready to get started with this game? Yes! yes! <laughs> Omatepe, a map to your camp. Zapatera, map to your camp. It is going to rain a lot out here in Nicaragua. I suggest you get to camp quickly,
start using the experience of Rob and Russell, start building camp. Ometepe, you're heading out that way. Zapatera, that way. <laughs> when Jeff told us what Redemption Island is, then it was like, I didn't even know how to process it. I mean, it makes Rob and Russell being here a lot more complicated because they could definitely come back into the game even if we get rid of them. The good part of it is that if I get voted out, I could come back into the game. But the possibility of getting voted out was so not a reality to me that I only saw it as a downside. I'm like, damn it, someone I vote out is gonna come back to haunt me. Crap.